In the month of September, which is generally considered a sexual health month, we want to focus on what exactly happened to men after they decided to use vasectomy as a form of contraception. And the commonly asked question is what happened to the sperm or semen after vasectomy? In fact, there are two different matters altogether what happened to the semen and what happened to the sperm. Let's deal with what happened to the semen first. If you imagine a typical man will ejaculate between four to six mils of liquid during climax. And out of that liquid, 99% actually produced by the prostate. And only 1% actually is the sperm that mixed with that liquid. In fact, the prostatic secretions contain a lot of nutrition and lubricant and also alkaline solution to neutralize the acidity in the actual vagina itself so it facilitates the sperm swimming. So after a vasectomy, in fact, there's no change in the semen at all. So the amount that is ejaculated, the texture that is ejaculated, the temperature, the color, and everything else remain unchanged. The only thing is that it does not contain any sperm. So that leads to the second question. What exactly happens to the sperms? In fact, actually the sperm is continuous being produced. They actually stay in the lining of the epididymis and after about a period of 90 to 120 days, it will die and the body will absorb it. Imagine that someone like a monk who doesn't ejaculate or who doesn't actually involve in sexual activity, eventually the sperm will be being produced, matured and also survive and die. And it's the same thing because after vasectomy, the sperm doesn't actually get out. So there's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that the continuous production of sperm eventually will die. So that itself may mean that if someone changed their mind, they can actually retrieve the sperm and directly make a test tube baby. Alternatively, that accumulated sperm itself might actually undergo changes and sometimes it might cause slight discomfort in the initial part after the vasectomy. So for next week, we're going to focus a lot more about vasectomy and what happens to your libido and also your climax and also more importantly, your erection after vasectomy. Stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot.